An immature relationship starts with I love you and ends with screw you. A mature relationship starts with I love you and ends with thank you. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. Today, Brendan Bouchard talks with us about what's often a difficult topic to discuss. That is, ending an unhealthy relationship. Here's Brendan. This one's a difficult episode, but we're going to approach a question that I'm asked like all the time. And that is, Brendan, when do I know when it's time to quit on somebody? You know, often in these comments, it's someone's asking that because they're in a relationship and they don't know, is it time to break up? Or they've hired somebody and they've given them four or five tries at work and they're they're not performing. How many chances do you give another person before you say, hey, look, this isn't working? Whether it's in a relationship or at work or someone you're mentoring, that's a difficult discussion. And so I'm going to hit you right off the bat with a difficult one, but it's really at the heart of many questions I do receive. I get a lot of difficult questions and, and often there's a story with them and it's led to this first piece of advice I have. The time to quit on somebody, hands down, as harsh as it might sound, is straightforward and honest and that's when there's any abuse. When there's abuse in a relationship, you quit, Period. You owe no loyalty to abusive people, period. That's the time you got to get out. And that's where a lot of these questions come from. You know, there's a lot of domestic violence in the world. There's a lot of, you know, women who are treated very, very poorly and often physically beaten up by their husbands, by their partners, their spouses, their lovers. And it's a bad, bad deal. And often these women or these folks who are being abused do not get the straightforward answer. And the straightforward answer is if you're being abused physically, quit, period. Leave that person, get out of that relationship, get somewhere safe, go to your parents' house if they're safe, go to a friend's house, but you need to exit not a month from now, not three months from now. It needs to be immediate and it needs to be swift. And it has to be with bold precision. You need to plan it and do it, and you need to do it sooner than later. And that's so hard to tell people because, you know, we have this often misaligned thought in our head about loyalty. Well, if I leave this person, then, uh, you know, uh, I'll never be loved. Or if I leave this person, it's unfair to them because they hung out with me and I'm a, you know, piece of crap. We, We make up these stories to validate people's injustice to us sometimes. And at an abuse level, we can't do that. And I know your heart's in the same place as mine in hearing this, and it's difficult to do, but you have to do it. If anyone is being verbally or physically abusive with you on a consistent basis, get out. And you don't need to wait for consistency over a year or two or three. You're talking about one or two times, and and you got to go. You have to remember there's 7 billion people on the planet. There's going to be someone who's going to treat you better. There's going to be somebody who you can trust. There's going to be somebody who, you know, might not come into your life until you create the white space of getting rid of the the bad folks so the good folks can come in again. And it's necessary. And I hope you just hear me. If you're in an abusive situation, please leave sooner than later. It's always going to be the better decision to leave sooner than later. Plan it out. Find that place of support and go. Now, not everybody who asked me this question is coming from that dire of a situation. And so I'll I'll continue on from them, but I just want to be honest and serious with it. There's a lot of people, a lot of organizations to help with that. If you are in that situation, please look up a domestic abuse center around you. Look up some help and support online or get it from family or friends. But for your own sanity, your own safety, and those around you, get out of that situation. Number two, is let's take it from a a different perspective now. Assuming we've handled the abuse thing, let's talk about everyday relationships where that's not there, but you're like, I don't know, should I stay or should I not? One indicator is after you've had repeated failed discussions with somebody. That means, first and foremost, we're assuming 
You've had the discussion with somebody. You've told them what you think, what you feel, what you desire, what you want in life, and you've done it more than once. Because a lot of people, they just, they, they never share with someone until, the, you know, internally they've built up so much hate and anger and bitterness, they explode on the person and then they walk out. And the other person never even knew what was going on. You need to give time for people to adjust. And it usually doesn't happen after one request. There has to be repeated discussions, not just repeated requests. Here's what I mean. A lot of people, when they're in a relationship and something goes wrong, they say, I don't like that. Do ABC. And they just demand from the other person, expect the other person's going to change. But then we'll ask the person how they feel and what they think and what they want and what they desire and what their actions are. And relationships aren't like you're over here and they're over there. Relationships are like this. You're connected. And so you have to understand each other in whole. And so a discussion means, honey, I'd like to talk about what's been going on. And I know we're both frustrated and we both know it could be better. And in this situation, I saw this and I felt that way. Could we talk about that? What did you see? What did you feel? What would you like to happen? Here's what I'd like to happen. Can we make an agreement on this? It's a discussion and you just can't bail on somebody if there's never been a discussion about your truth, if there's never been a request about what you need, and if you've never opened your ears to what their truth is and what their request is. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.